I think I have an epiphany. Oh, let's hear it. Uh, I am a bit of a hater. Of course. But I think I'm fairly justified in it where I do think for myself. Right? Like, you'd rather not have people just follow the crowd. Like, yes, man. Yeah. Kind of thing. So, like, everyone loves Conor McGregor, right? And they're like, oh, he's so great. He's so cool. He's kind of a dick. Yeah, but, like, that's why people like him, right? And right. they're like, oh, dude, he brings so much to the sport and he's international. And, and not that I don't respect what he did for MMA and, and combat sports, but I was never a fan. I was never ne- necessarily a fan of his shit talk. I just don't think it was that creative, especially when you compare it to someone like Muhammad Ali or some people that are a little better on the mic or someone who's, like, awkwardly funny, like a Mike Tyson interview. But um, they just came out with a new documentary on him, like a docuseries. Okay. Does docuseries mean that it's real? Uh, it's supposed to be a docu series. Is just supposed to be a documentary, but like just as, as a TV series, multiple right. episodes instead of a movie. Yeah, instead of like a you know. Then what is it when they do it? Like um, it's the story of someone's life, like a bio. That's a docu drama. Docu drama, right? Because I always say docu series, meaning it's a series of documentaries, like right. Planet Earth. Right. But some people use it the other way, and I didn't know if I was wrong or not. No, you're right. So they did. Conor McGregor docu series, uh-huh. which we should probably do a full episode on. But um, I started digging into that, and it does always like open my eyes. And some of it could be the filmmaking, but mm-hmm. it always makes me kind of question my dislike because you understand kind of where he's coming from. Right? I think so, and like like certain interviews that weren't as famous or things he said to the documentary, like uh, make me relate. Yeah, because you kind of. See the flashy, like the entertaining, the yeah. un- unhinged version of him. Yeah. Those are the things that, like the clips that get thrown around the most or talked about. But that's most. what other people like. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, but then like. I just have weird taste, I guess. Well, you, what is it? Like, it's more relatable. So it's, you see him as more like, oh, he's more similar to me than I thought. Yeah, the big, yeah. The big one was he said, uh, I think it was in one of the big interviews, but also on the side, like when he's at his house or he was uh, doing something in Ireland. I think he was doing a like a kid's class for MMA in Ireland or something. Mm. And one of the moms asked him something, you know, like, like, uh, can we see like, who's the true McGregor? You know, like, what do you do? Who is this? Yeah. Like, who are we dealing with right now? And, um, he's like, Oh, basics. He, he basically just said that, uh, he's so mirrors and is like felt the energy in the room. So if he's about to fight a douchebag, he turns into a douchebag. If he's in a room full of kids trying to get better, he's like a dad. So he's a chameleon? That's how I feel. Mm. That's how I feel often. Like, camera's on, and I'm next to, like, Bart or even you guys. Like, energy's high. I'm going to say some crazy shit. I'm going to have some fun. Energy's low. I can be the serious guy. Yeah. That, at home, I'm kind of, like... Back in the day, that was called uh, having a versatile personality. Where you're and now, it's called uh, mental I illness. I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, here's the thing. I think that a lot of people who are charismatic and potentially douchebags have that, yeah that that quality. I've turned myself that many times where I have douchebag qualities, but I don't think I'm a douchebag because I what don't. What are the douchebag qualities that I can like relate? And... Actually, let me let me let me tell you. What they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that funny? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me get my list out. Wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I think I can. I think I can. Uh, and it's like pages and pages. Is long. Yeah. It's a I think, scroll. I think I'm a chameleon. <laughs> I mean, that's good that you're supposed to be, right? But like, I don't use it for evil. Like a karma chameleon. But yeah, but I don't use it for evil. Where douchebags will use it for evil. Like to be manipulative. To get women. Uh, but we you don't, don't get do women. No, I get zero women. You do not. Yeah. Okay. See? We all know that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what you're saying is that you're a really transparent douchebag? Yeah, I'm a douchebag with no douche. Mm, just a bag. Or no bag. No bag either. I guess the bag, <laughs> right? Because you go home with the bag. That well, you won. Okay, so because we're rudderless today, I'm going to throw this in here. Um, oh, like on a boat? Yeah, yeah. you can't move. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. So uh, this is supposed to be um, a quiz of whether you're whether or not you're a giant douchebag. Mm. I you, took, uh, side note, I took a BDSM or something <laughs> test live on Twitch once. <laughs> it was fucking really detailed. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. minute. Like an hour. Bondage and discipline, yeah. sadomasochistic. Yeah, yeah, or whatever. Or like, what's your kink or something? Oh, really? Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. It was like a. I swear to God, it was like an hour test. It was like an, an SAT. Hour? Dude, oh, COVID no. was a bitch, man. We had a lot of streaming the- hours. I was streaming sixty hours a week. You got to wow. find content. We, we call that edging now. Yeah, yeah it was oh long. God. It was long. What 
What, so what did you find out from that test? They said I was vanilla or something. I mean, because I didn't want to, like, you know, bash someone's head against a wall or put spandex on my ass or something, you know? Mm. If you're not, like, into it, you're not into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of that world, I'm Mr. Boring. Mm-hmm. Or Switch. Switch, I think. What's that? But you're not, like, I, I don't need to, like, get whipped and I don't need to do the, some whipping. No, I I'm think a, that means you're you're willing to do either. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. like I'm a role player. It just doesn't have to I'm be. A, you know what a role player is? A role player in basketball is like the guy that'll fill in the gaps. Mm-hmm. He'll he'll do he'll do what needs to get done. I'm I for see. the team. I see. Yeah, and that's what I Yeah, am. and in uh I don't know, they they call it utility player in, yeah, in same baseball. Idea. Okay. So basically somebody who can play more than one position. Yeah, yeah. 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 You can okay. kind of play first base, you can kinda of play outfield. Yeah, basketball means you can rebound if they need to rebound. You just fill in. Yeah. I'm filling it in. We got boxies. Uh, okay, so you, you want to take the douchebag quiz here? <laughs> yeah. I think Abby should take it. Oh, yeah, Speaking true. Speaking of douchebags. Right, I think I'm a pretty, let's see. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so uh, you cancel plans you had with a friend. Whose responsibility is it to make new plans? Okay. Never no mind. one's. Plans will happen when they happen. Mine, it, I'm the one who had to cancel plans. I should be the one to make the new ones. Or theirs. They wanted to hang out in the first friend? place. Friend? Friend. Friend, I think, is different than dating. Yeah. Friend, no one's responsibility. Dating, on me. Mm, I think it's me, both ways. I would tend to agree with you. Yeah. Um, You're a but douche, it, Mike. It, I just don't feel like as obligated to be structured with a real friend. If it's a I real friend, yeah. then I, I don't need I this. I apparently don't have any real friends. Yeah. You they're... know what I mean? Like, or, or even like if it was a girlfriend versus dating, a girlfriend, I, it shouldn't be this like, well, I did that for you. You better do this for me. It's you just, know, like I don't yeah. I don't have that type of relationship you don't like anywhere the quid in my pro life. Quo. Yeah. But in dating, because you're feeling each other out, then you got to show your interest. And so you have to put so, in extra effort. But you're, but you're you're showing who you aren't. Not who you are. No, if you do that, no, because it, then I'm showing. Oh yes, I do actually want to hang out with you. I just actually couldn't cancel. Yeah, I'm not actually just ghosting you. Oh, okay. Where if you're my true friend or my girlfriend, you already know I'm not ditching you. Yeah, yeah. or you should by that time. You just know that I'm actually busy. Or they know you're a douchebag. So. Or I want to be alone yeah. in my room. Okay, so I'm just gonna say. Well, well what? We'll go by Abby. We'll do that. Abby, the actual what? test. Okay. But I feel like you're more gonna be more douche than me. That's fucked. So we'll do my. <laughs> Well, which one are we doing? Uh, uh, show of hands. Uh, do do. Wait, there are three of us. I I right. think we should do Mike's. Yeah, All right, we yeah. can do me. Okay, no ones. Yeah, I think it's no one in a friendship situation. I get that because you're gonna eventually hang out again. Yeah, yeah. More, more like if it's a if it's the homie, something will come up. Yeah, Yo. that can happen to me. <laughs> like, yeah. You can... See, no, I expected to be able to touch. The... Oh no, I did. Okay, all right. Um, I slept weird on my shoulder. Holy cow! Getting old, Abby. Yeah, I feel that. Don't talk to me about it. Yeah, owie. Owie, zowie. <laughs> How close do you stand to the person in front of you when you're in line? I do hate creepers. So right behind them, whatever gets clo- you closer to the front, about three feet away, about ten feet away. One of these answers is completely stupid. One of these answers is creepy, and one of them is right. Yeah, I say even three feet's like give or take, but yeah, the three, obvious four. one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, two. Uh, uh, you Depends know, on the line, ten? right? Ten? What the fuck? Yeah. Most people in America, the distance that you want to be from somebody is at least an arm's length. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's just cultural norm. Yeah, what yeah I think it depends, right? Because you're, you're hopping on a tram at an airport. All right, it might get a little close. You're in TSA, it might get a little close. But if you're in line for an ice cream cone, like give me a fucking breather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But 10 feet, that's an yeah, exaggeration, right? Yeah, 10 feet's obnoxious. Right? Yeah, that's pandemic shit. That's hyperbole. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. And then, yeah, up in your grill, though, but a lot of people do that. Yeah. I'll be looking around at a grocery store. I'm like, dude, what are you doing so goddamn close? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It does creep me out when people get close. Yeah. And I, I have, like, weird peripheral vision where I can uh, sort of almost kind of see behind me. Yeah, oh. you feel. What? And so <laughs> if I can see something back there, it yeah, you know, like creeps me out. I got to move. I got to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. like I'll do it. I'll step to the side. I'll go. I'll go horizontal, Dylan. Mm. So you could see if so they attack kn- you. So I can knock them both out. Because they attack you, yeah. You gotta, be, you gotta be ready. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Always ready. Stay ready. Stay sharp. <laughs> um, okay. So you, I think this is a this is a situation where you have roommates or you have people in, that you live with in the yeah. house. Okay? We both do. Do, do douchebags stand close to people? Is that a douchebag thing? I think it's a creeper thing. Yeah, that, I, can, I, I can't. I can't really draw the line between. Uh, Creeper yeah. and a douchebag, though, honestly. That's what I hate about these some of these tests, where actually the uh, 
What's, Validity. What's the INFJ, ABCD, oh. YMCA? Myers Briggs. Um, Myers Briggs. Yeah. Myers Briggs is pretty good because you don't. You kind of know where it's going, but you don't really know where it's going. Yeah. Where some of these, if I wanted to answer it and prove I'm a douchebag, I could do it. Or it, if I want to answer it and prove I'm not a douchebag, I could do it. Yeah. The answers are clear. Yeah. It's it's Buzzfeed. Give me a break. Yeah. All right. Um, Buzzfeed to hire a new psychologist. Um, okay. So if you uh, if you go to the bathroom and you see that there's just an empty toilet paper roll and there's no toilet paper, do you replace it immediately because you wouldn't wish that hell on anyone? Leave it be. I bought the last roll, not my responsibility. Or do nothing and spend the rest of the day brooding in silent contempt for your roommate. I'll, I'll, I'll normally half-ass it and probably to- to chuck one on top. Maybe I won't <laughs> fill the whole ring, you know? If I'm in a hurry, even at home, I will do that. Yeah. Like, if I'm in a hurry, it's like, it, I don't yeah. want to screw you, but I also don't have yeah. time to do this correctly. If it's the common area bathroom, yeah, yeah I'll do that. Yeah. Like, because it's not fully my responsibility, but I don't want anyone to have... You know, poopy butt walking around. Oh my god, you guys! No Such, one actually uses that. This it's just not... shows the difference between dudes and girls. <laughs> the, oh my god! They're, they're, in, Chuck it on top. In my house, uh, it's kind of a weird flex. I guess we each have our own bathroom, plus like the common room. Okay, area. me too. Yeah. Just so you know. Yeah, flex on them, Abby. We're living <laughs> life of lux out here, so <laughs> I don't really come across this issue often. It's very rarely, but right. I do check the the common area. Not that we have guests over, really, but I do check the common area, make sure. It's not totally gross. So, yeah. I mean, we, we have two bathrooms in my house. And um, here's the deal. I shower in the front bathroom because that's the one that has the the uh, um, on-demand heater or water heater. So mm. it's like I can, you can take mm-hmm. – yeah, and you can take a shower for as fucking long as you want. Yeah. The one in the back has a separate smaller heater, and you it's hard to get all the way through a decent shower yeah. without that's getting annoying. cold. Yeah. But that bathroom has the bidet toilet seat. Oh, so you mm. shit in one, shower in the other. That's pretty much correct. Wow. But that's yes. an issue, too, for me. Two different restrooms for two different yeah. purposes. That's, that's a yes. weird flex, too. Weird flex. Yep. Very cool. And then the third and the, bathroom. For brushing teeth. Yep. And the golden toilet. And then toilet. the fourth for washing your hands. Okay. If, I, if only. Um, like, oh, you go outside and use the hose to wash your hands. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely replacing it. Throwing away the old mm-hmm. one in the trash. And you crush it. So you flatten it so that the tube isn't just taking up extra space in the trash can or you like your water bottles you, and your and your soda cans you could throw the tube at your dog and it could be a new dog toy your dog's eating that and then pooping it out you yeah, probably should just paper. or just tearing it up and leaving it everywhere yeah, it's just paper yeah that's just not you don't even have a dog first of <laughs> all um yeah crush your toilet paper rolls crush your water bottles and your energy crush your hands. partner's soul okay yeah okay. crush weights what best describes the way you ride in an es- an escalator? I move to the right if I'm going to stand, yeah. and to the left if I'm going to walk. Fair. Or I stand wherever I want. It's an escalator. Not Why are you so board. furrowed right now? I'm. That's common practice. There's, but usually, if you're on an escalator, like right, if you're standing on the left, I'm running your ass over like I'm in the NFL. Is it even wide enough to have someone pass on? Either well, side sometimes of you? maybe I can... I'm just that big. I can tell you that this is a big deal in all the London underground stations because the escalators are like th- like this. They're like, you know, Mount Kilimanjaro. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, you're on them for a long time. They're really, really long. And so, yeah, you stand to the right. I think There uh, are signs that say that, stand to the right. Yeah, I mm-hmm. think all that's common. It's freeway shit. It's I've never walking seen that. on the road shit. Yeah. It's bike riding shit on a path. Yeah, if you don't follow that, all that. If you're if you're cruising, get to the right. If you're not, or yeah. the man movers. Yeah, we have a lot of man movers in airports and shit. Uh oh, like the horizontal yeah. deals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Or I guess woman movers. I'm sorry, Evie. Or, or <laughs> people, people movers. People movers. Moving thing, side thing movers. I say moving sidewalk. That's me. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, move oh. to the right. I think there's very few escalators that you're going to be trucking up the left. But what what if it is an emergency or you got to go get you know. Yeah, and yeah. you want to have to keep saying, excuse me, yeah. excuse me, excuse me, yeah. excuse me. Even though I wasn't just in, uh, where was I? I don't know. I've been everywhere. But I was in one of the uh, little tunnels to the airplane, right? The little boarding thing. And the mm-hmm. lines are fucking packed. And the uh, pilot and everybody's stomping on our right. Like, on our right, on your right. I'm like, why are you moving on my right? To get to the airplane. Like, obviously, they got to go set up. It was a stewardess and, like, a pilot. I'm like, that's just so weird. Mm. Flight attendant. Yeah. And one was a pilot, too. <laughs> 
I guess there's no like left and right in outer space or in the I in the sky. Is, that, that's in the just sky. to me that's weird behavior. That's aberrant. Yeah. Right there. But both yeah, twice it happened. I was like, this is odd. That's 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 really maybe weird. it's not as common. Yeah. How, however, it depends on where you are because um, other countries, I think, like the, the UK, when you're walking down the sidewalk, you actually sort of go to the opposite side of what we do in America. Yeah, because the roads, right? Similar Probably. To the roads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably. You should always I don't be even facing know. cars. When you walk, you face cars. When you ride a bike, you ride with cars. But I'm talking about sidewalks. No, like on the sidewalk. Yeah, but it's left and right. Yeah, probably the same, right? I don't know. I don't know. Because you could I, face the cars, but also be on the left side or the right side of the sidewalk. Yeah, so if you face the cars, do you think the fast lane is towards the cars? I don't know. Because well, that's all, what it would be here, right? Yeah. Yeah. You, where you would be, yeah. And so but a walking sidewalk. You would so. walk on the right. Everybody would walk on the right. So Of the path or of the car? Uh, no, I'm talking about sidewalk. Sidewalk. The path. Everybody who's walking, regardless of the direction they're going, are walking on their right. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, except that other countries do it the other way. Yeah. And it's very confusing. Yeah. And, and then people are con- inconsistent. It's the same on stairs. People yeah. are inconsistent. And then there's a traffic jam. People yeah, are because you're like, <sighs> so many people. People don't, each other. people don't even know the basic rules here, too, where people are like biking against traffic. Like, I almost hit another bicyclist the other day. I'm like, dude, what are you fucking doing? Like, and we have a lot of one way roads here. You so should no. teach them a lesson by hitting them. I like, should have trucked bike his on ass. This side. I should have trucked his ass. Because, like, not only do we have one way roads, so it's kind of a duh. Yeah. And then two, like, yeah, why are you biking the opposite direction in a bike lane? That's a really good question. Yeah, I, don't, I literally don't almost that. trucked one. But walking, yeah, walk against traffic, bike with traffic. And we have some protected bike lanes here. Yeah, and they're decent. I, I have seen them in other cities, and I thought they were great, and I don't think they look great here. They're, no, they're, they could be better. Yeah, they're, it, the, because the parking is suddenly really hard. How amazing would an off-level the off like level two bike lane be? <gasps> Whoa. It can't be that hard to build. Like an elevated. Oh, downtown elevated. wouldn't see sun anymore with all the trees. No, because it would just be like a thin ass lane through the trees. People are probably dying on there. I don't know. We would have, it'd have guardrails, right? That would yeah. be dope. Yeah. That would be really cool. That would be genius, I think. That'd be amazing. It would make it so pedestrian friendly. It'd be another city above yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was like the High Line. In, in, That's what made me think of it yeah. when I used to walk that. In Manhattan. Yeah. yeah. There's an old train track in Manhattan or subway or whatever. It used to be, yeah. yeah. It was an elevated train. Yeah. yeah. Above way? Above way. <laughs> it was an above way, yeah. yes. And they uh, turned it into like a mile or two walk with like plants and like food yeah. vendors and like street vendors. And you just do this really cool walk above the regular road. Yeah. And it just cool. makes sense. And it's not super functional now. It does take you from like South Manhattan to like the middle, but it's not like mega. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's a little bit broken up too. Yeah. But it, in, in theory, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Or like Chicago has trains like that, right? Yeah, they have elevated trains. Yeah. Yeah, New York used to yeah. routinely have elevated trains. It would just make trains. so much sense to have pedestrian shit up there. Yeah, just to me. Yeah, yeah for build sure. vertically. And uh, just as an aside about pedestrians and crossing streets and things like that, like uh, I think it was in, in London, but it may have been in Paris. I don't remember. Um, instead of having, like here we have these totally lame things where you can push the button and it flashes, but it's not a regular intersection. Yeah. It's supposed to be like a pedestrian crossing thing, but nobody who's driving really pays attention to that because it's not bold enough. Yeah, these places had like extra stripes on the on the side. I mean, on the crosswalk, yeah. and then had posts on either side that had that were like barber pole things, you know, yeah, like bla- black and white, whatever. And then they had lights on top of them, and the lights flashed all the time. Why so not just at that point just drop the fucking train deal? Right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. You know? That's a fair point. Even I was here. walking by one the other day because the light rule went down, and then like it was going back up, and I was talking to Daniel. I was like, "Imagine I just hung on to it." As, as it it ran ran That'd be scary. I could. That'd be scary. Speaking of light rail, um, my buddy uh, Kenny, his mom was driving his car down here where she doesn't normally drive, and either hit or got hit by a light rail train. Oh, fuck. Total, wow, she was in the car. Totaled the car. Yikes. Damaged the train. She was okay. That sucks. That is sucks. Did she yeah. have to pay for the light rail? <sighs> That's a good question. Yeah, he, no, uh, what he said, it was all with his insurance company because it was his car that she was driving. Yeah, it depends on whose fault, I guess. Yeah. Um, when you use, uh, when do you use the turn signals on your car? When you need to. So that's when when there's a line of cars in front or behind you. Not too often people can tell where I'm headed or pretty much all the time. 
I have a habit of doing it all the time because that's how I was taught. I do all the time. Yeah. 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 I don't even look who's behind me. I mean, I do, so I don't crash, but I don't pay attention. I'm always eating that thing. Or sometimes if you're on like the freeway and there's like no one really around, do you still use it? I do. I think it's just habit. Sometimes I don't and I feel like, you know, I, I like, kind of wish. To. I kind of wish they'd give tickets for shit like that instead. I bet we would have less accidents if it became more common. Probably so. People, I mean, how would you catch that though? Yeah, it's just random, right? How they catch anything, it would have to be yeah, two hundred percent random. Very difficult. Right? But yeah, they, they just sort of decriminalized. You know what they call the California stop, the rolling stop. Yeah. Decriminalized. Yeah, it's just a it's a cheap ticket now. They mostly don't ride them. Oh, just, you know, like I've only had two tickets: one speeding Not good and one for of them. Me to know. <laughs> I, that's the beauty of riding a bicycle, dude. I fucking. Don't stop for shit. I'm a little scared. Just because I don't trust people. I don't either. Yeah. At all. Ever. But you feel a little maneuverable on it. Oh. You know? Okay. More than a car. Like cars like Queen got Latifah momentum. and Taxi? Yeah, like that. Queen Latifah and Taxi? <laughs> Why qu- air quotes? That was her? Maybe. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> um. Okay. You're sick on a work day. Do you go in? Absolutely, I've got work to do. No way. I can't risk coughing all over the place. And or three, I might go in for a little, but if it gets too bad, I'm out of there. Uh, it does depend on how sick I am. Three. But, but I, I hate getting people sick, and I hate that notion of that. I hate yeah. people going to the gym when they're sick. Like, don't get me sick. Like, yeah. m- everyone's like, well, will it affect my gains? Fuck your gains. What about everybody else in the gym or everybody yeah. else we're about to go to? Like, right. don't go to the fucking grocery store. Like, fucking, especially now. Like, DoorDash hit. Yeah. Like, don't be a douche. I hate that. Mm-hmm. See, I'm not a douche. So you're going to say no way? Yeah, probably no way. I mean, yeah. Unless I know it's not contagious for whatever reason. Yeah. But especially in this era. I get it in the 80s and 90s, right? You have deadlines and shit. Now everything you... 99% of shit you can figure out on your laptop. Yeah, mm-hmm. c- COVID changed things in a lot of ways. Yeah. That that being one of them, it's possible to do almost yeah. everything that and, doesn't, doesn't require a face-to-face. And, you're, and I hate it because then people are sick forever. Like, I get sick but and I get fucking flopped, but I'm sick for like two days and then I'm rocking. Where people like push themselves and then now you're sick for like three weeks yeah, and they get pneumonia yeah like yeah. I, w- I wonder why you're sick for so long because you're half working like just i literally shut down i yeah. lay down in bed i don't leave bed i'm chugging liquids mm-hmm. i'm sleeping as much as i can and i try to beat it yeah. mm-hmm. for me and for everyone that's around me yeah i agree yeah see I agree. uh okay. not a douchebag uh, mm-hmm. only mike can answer this question here we go as you enter a public rest- restroom to use the urinal, there's a row of urinals and one is taken. Where do you stand? You you always go one space for sure. Right. You so always I'm... give them at least one breather. So I was listening to Dave Chang's podcast on the way in, and he one of his co-hosts was in a, in a, in a restaurant and um, walked into the bathroom. There's a row of, of them. I think he said there were th- three, four, five of them, whatever. Uh he did the th- the the move when everything is empty is you go to the far the far one. If it's oh, no one's in there, or if no one's in there. Yeah, I'll go or to the you, far you, or the close. Yeah, yeah. It, it, whichever one is not the little kid one. I'll go to the little one. I will go to the little <laughs> yeah. one too if I have to. Yeah, I don't know if that's like the I handicapped will... parking. I don't know what the law is on that. <laughs> like, is it just reserved <laughs> for short folks or kids? But I uh, I'll take the little one. I'll yeah. admit to that one. Yeah, I will. It's take, just the closest. I will take okay. the little one. As well, yeah. if it means I avoid being right next to somebody, that for sure I'll do. Yeah, but even if it's a full thing, like airports, sometimes for some reason have a billion stalls, and sometimes they're totally empty. Or Bucky's, like you know, there's just like hundred stalls, and for some reason, not everyone's pissing at the same time. Shout out to pussies. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Bussies. Hello. That's a bus pussy. <laughs> what does that even mean? That's what a bussy is. What's a bus pussy? I don't know. There's car pussies. There's people that like like car sex and we're, shit. We're about okay. to, we're about to lose the bus <laughs> over here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I admit I admit publicly I've used the s- small pisser. Okay. Okay. So what happened to him is that uh, he he's like you obviously you never take the middle regardless. You never take the yeah, middle. Yeah, it's kind of psycho movements. Yeah. So he's over to the side, and suddenly there's someone next to him peeing, even though there were other open ones. No, I think that's common. Yeah. I don't know why people do that. Because they want company. Yeah, is it like the puppy pound or the what, dog pound where like you see one puppy and then all the puppies lay on each other? Um, you know that's a thing. It, like puppies naturally want to lay on each oh, other. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah so I wonder tr- if there's something in humans that are like, well, I, I, don't, I don't know, but wait till you hear who it was. Huh. Mike Tyson. 
Oh, then I wouldn't be so mad. I'd say, <laughs> what's t- up, champ? I'd yeah. start a convo. I never talk in the urinal either. That's fucking weird. I don't like that. Uh, but if it's Mike Tyson, I'm saying, what's up, Mike champ? Mike Tyson says, how's it going? Yeah, I like no. that. And, he, and he, he, he responded to him in exactly what you said. Yeah. How's it you going, mean, how's champ? It going? Yeah, I would say that, how's too. How's it going, how's champ? It going? Yeah. That's fucked up. <laughs> I'll say, hey, I'm the great, greatest ever. <laughs> There's nobody like me. <laughs> he starts hyping himself yeah, up. Yeah, I'd, 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 I'd give him one. I'd give him the speech of a decade. There's <laughs> nobody but pisses like you. <laughs> I love Mike Tyson. I want to say like his most famous quote, but it will get canceled. Oh, he said some not nice things. Yeah, let's not get canceled. He's funny. Uh, uh, although that seems to work out for some people. Um, yeah, for some reason I don't like boxing. I, I've never really watched it. Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali have like studied their lives and training and documentaries my whole life. Wow. Just because like the training parts, cool. they're kind of the more interesting as people than they are as. Boxers, yeah, and they were champions. So I just don't makes... love boxing, but I, but both of them are so yeah. The interesting. sport itself is whatever, but like yeah. they as individuals. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Tyson's another one. Like he literally was just like a bad person. I think he'd admit that, and he just changed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, the question is: Do you stand as far away as you possibly can? Do you saddle up next to him? And uh, it's time for some good old fashioned urinal conversation. Yeah, it's weird. And or I wait for them to finish silently waiting. That's weird watching too. Them to the... Yeah, yeah. I don't go I... as far, but I definitely give them at least one stall reach. So, so, so I think it's far, yeah, it's still furthest far. for that. For it's yeah. far, and like yeah, if the if the urinals are clogged up, you go to a um, you go to a stall. Yeah, you know? yeah. You can piss in a stall. Yeah, I'm not mad. It's that. okay. You think that's weird? No. I think peeing sitting down is a little weird. I just don't have to worry about any of that. Okay, so say there's so four stalls. Weird. And you're going next stall, or you're gonna give him a breather on the stall? Cause I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna give a breather on the on the pooping too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You give him a breather. Mm-hmm. You don't want to go right next to him. They hear the door close. You're looking at each other's feet. It's weird. Yeah, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, and it's easier to like manage. I think. Um, I'm trying to think. You of... hear him pooping. Yeah, you, you know, everyone gets a little poop shy. Yeah, there's not really any of the those type of politics in the women's restroom. Yeah, I don't um, think. I bet you there are. Just like maybe if. It's dirty. It's like, come on, ladies. Like, we can be better than we this. We can be better than this. Don't yeah. We? Yes. Um, you're opening a bag of chips in a crowded, quiet place. What's your method? You Ooh. slowly open the bag, <laughs> trying not to make much noise. I love that. As oh, as fast as you can, like ripping off a bandage, one and done, or save the chips for a less, less awkward room. I think I'm trying the uh, pull apart horizontally so it goes up. Yeah. And yeah. if you can't get the I'm probably, I'm probably waiting. I'm probably gonna wait for another room. Like, wh- wh- who's eating chips? <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> who's eating chips in a quiet room? Yeah, yeah. Dep- like, what are you gonna open chips in a library? I'll I probably love, wait. I love the awkward. Like, you could hear the yeah. crinkle. You could tell what yeah, they're chips doing. Chips are so loud. It's so funny it's to hilarious. me. Hilarious. Even so. even in an airplane, I feel awkward. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't want to be the person to do it, but I will fucking laugh yeah. at it for sure. I think yeah. I bought because because obviously elevation and shit. And so like, I bought Cheez Its in an airport. I've, I've probably done this a hundred thousand times. Like, I'll buy Cheez Its and then they're all puffed up and it makes it harder to open i'm even awkward in an airplane and airplanes not like known as a quiet place no, necessarily yeah. people are dickheads in there even though it should be i feel like library etiquette should be a thing in an airplane this is why even though there is no technological problem with people using cell phones on planes as long as they can connect or whatever is that most of us don't want people having yeah. phone conversations in that close a proximity it's weird. It's yeah weird. I, that's a whole nother topic. How many people like talk so loudly and normally on phones? Like, I want my shit private. I don't like understand. even if it's not a private conversation. I don't understand the people who walk around with their phone on speaker. That too. But even the Bluetooth shit's still a thing. Yeah, it's so weird. Yeah, because like, I can't tell if you're talking to me or you on the fucking phone or you just singing music. Yeah, why are you doing you're, it in public? Or or you're mentally challenged? And yeah, it's, yeah, it's odd. Okay, elevator doors open. It's full of people. What do you do? Stand in front of the elevator to make sure to, that you get on. Uh, push your way to the front, making sure. Wait a minute. Okay, stand in front of the elevator to make sure you get on. I get on. Push my way to the front, making sure I'm. I get on this elevator. That's the same thing twice. 
uh, or side to s- step to the side and let those already inside off before getting on. Yeah, clearly the last one. Yeah. It's, the, it's the last one. That's You know, they say that uh, like all the trains, almost on a million trains in Europe, and that's what you're supposed to do yeah. is yeah. wait for people to get off. People don't do that. Well, that's why the tram, that's at so least frustrating. The, the tram and sack at least has one door open for people to leave, and then it delays the other door because then it's uh, for people to get right. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I think that's smart. I'll go against traffic there, too. If you can sneak out. When is it okay to use the high beams on your car? Uh, empty, dark road. Yeah. When you're on the only person on the road. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whenever, if we aren't supposed to use them at will, when we wouldn't have them. It's or, technically illegal, right? Or I don't know. I always forget to turn them off. Yeah, definitely the first one. It's yeah, te- yeah that, I think that's correct. It's kind of the blinker deal. Like BuzzFeed uh, needs to do better. Yeah. And even, even like while you're doing it in a city, your city should be lit enough. Like if I want some back road shit or, yeah. Yeah. Looking for an address. Do you, this, this should be like a, you know, the grocery cart test. What's the grocery cart test? If you don't put it away. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is just common courtesy test. Yeah, Not that douchebag. that one was in here and I skipped it because. Uh, uh, yeah, it's yeah. a no-brainer. Obvious, yeah. yeah. That one's a no-brainer. Yeah. Uh, you go to a party with friend A. You run into friend B who has never met friend A. What do you do? Yo, you, this is my buddy Sally. Mm. Easy. I always yeah. do that. Immediately introduce. Yeah. 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 yeah, I always do that. Or 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 maybe it's like a, a quick catch-up. Yo, what's happening, Abby? Yeah, good to see you. Old. Oh, yeah, by the way. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. What, what's Some people the are bad at option? Some people are bad at it, and they'll just stand there awkwardly until, like, I got to introduce myself. Like, oh, hey, I'm Mike, by the way. Oh, yeah. You know? That's true. It should be an easy intro. Yo, this is Jenny. So this, the the next question, the, the um, it's no longer available. The, the picture is no longer available. I guess it was probably a text. So... Can you respond to a text saying just K? Uh, K is never okay, what it says. Uh, it, it, yeah, it's fine. And it's a legitimate resta- response. Stop being so sensitive. Or are you serious? Why have you even re- read this far? Click the first one if you're not an asshole. I think it's so context dependent because K can be very passive aggressive. It can. Yeah. But if it's just giving you a, a salute, like got your message. Yeah. Why why yeah. do people use KK other than the key press? Era? I use KK. I think My wife uses key, KK because Sam used KK. Right? I think it fun. came from um I think it came she knows the code, dude. <laughs> it's Kirby. Uh I think it came from when text was the one through uh, nine. Yeah, yeah, the key pressing. And you'd have to double press it to get it to go because K wouldn't be a thing. Oh, uh, okay. You yeah. know what I mean? And oh. that's do you, know, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, when but it was I didn't when know. you it I was a demon on a Blackberry, and yeah. that's how you had to type because it was all the one through nine. So it was predictive, but it was also called something else. Not the QWERTY. Whatever. I don't know what it was called. It was a different type of keyboard, obviously, where each number gets three letters. Yeah. And so you have to do predictive. And so I think to get OK across or KK across, you'd have to do that. Yeah. You said QWERTY to talk like in reference to the keyboard? Yeah. What is it called? Yeah. That's, that's a, 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 a standard key- keyboard yeah. is a QWERTY. I didn't know that. I oh, mean, I know yeah. QWERTY, but like. Yeah, I think it's called QWERTY. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. QWERTY Learned keyboard. You're, you're, yeah. You're so, the, so the opposite of whatever QWERTY was. But yeah, the Blackberry Pearl. It's the one, two, three. I actually liked it because you could text fa- just as fast one-handed. Oh. Because one, it was a smaller phone, and then, yeah, with the predictive text, it was pretty good. If so, you got good enough. Yeah, yeah, you'd have to double text. That's why I like texting now, and everyone's like, I love FaceTiming shit. I think I grew up, I think my very, I think it's even smaller than millennials. I think it's just around my pocket mm-hmm. was the text thing. Because AOL Messenger was huge, and texting was like just becoming a thing. So I grew up in a text bubble where people in front of me do phone calls and then mm-hmm. people even two years behind me, probably like Dan and them, like FaceTime. Where FaceTime's like kind of new and awkward to me. And I, and and just me as a person, I don't like talking on the phone. Mm-hmm. FaceTime is very uh, intimate in a lot of ways. Yeah, that's it's, what I think. I like FaceTime. Yeah. You're the new gen. I like to FaceTime It's my generational. Friends. I have no friends, for one. And then, two, yeah, I, I like the one-hand text. I swear to God, I would do no-look text. I could do a whole sentence like this. I can't do I that. I love that. I on that on the now. old one. Oh, I can't do it now. Like, on the old one, I would fucking dominate that. I, I, I scream at the the touchscreen keyboard all the time. I constantly fuck it up. I really, yeah, it's I, hard. I fuck it up, too. I really wish... Um, Mike, you be fucking it up. Yeah. <laughs> I wish that the that the the, <laughs> the Blackberry keyboard had survived, but it didn't. I it couldn't. It. Yeah. Well, there's a movie about it. 
Oh, really? It's called Blackberry. Yeah, Blackberry was good. About the introduction of the Blackberry. I know they didn't want to go touchscreen, and they thought their shit would last. Uh, yeah, I've seen didn't. stories. Yeah. So, Even uh, though I think they, they are coming out with a new touchscreen phone right now. Uh, Blackberry, yeah. yeah and they're, I don't remember who they're doing it with, because they're not doing the actual um, <clears throat> hardware. Yeah, I'm sure it's yeah, Sony. Doing, or Yeah, yeah. Um, so the result of this, not an asshole at all. Nice. There's, douchebag, there's another one. There's like, you know, like there's a main road and then there's a road on the right for like merging when yeah. mer- lanes merge. I feel like the common thing is to um, alternate, right? Yeah, yeah. If main, it's crowded. Yeah, but then some people are douchebags. And they won't, yeah, I'm like, there's clearly a system here. <laughs> Even in person, know. people try to do that. When like lines will merge at a concert or like a basketball game, we're standing in line, right? We went to a playoff game. There's hella people. Yeah. You just always go one one. Like it's not a huge deal, but yeah. some people try to sneak into a group and like. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, dude, you're 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 that rude. That one thirty second wait is gonna. It's not gonna make it. Yeah, difference. that's gonna make a priority. Yeah. That's where I lose. That's a douchebag. Hope thing. for humankind. So, um, we can bring this back around to sort of our, you know, what our vertical is. Uh. What are, what are some douchebag gym Abby's things? Abby's got them all. Go. go. The gym things? Yes. If there's a large chalk bowl, even a medium chalk bowl, crumpling, crumpling chalk actually isn't that much of a pet peeve. I know a lot of gym owners hate that. If there's a block, don't crumple it. I don't hate that as much because even the remnants are usable. Yeah. Um, but do your hands in the chalk bowl. You're not right. LeBron James. Right. Wait. You there's don't play been, for the Lakers. There's been chalk on the floor, and it's hard to vacuum. No, it's impossible then. to get it up. Yeah, so it's like, it, bro. And what do you, what do you as a lifter get from that? You get nothing. It doesn't look that cool. Mm-hmm. You're literally just making a mess to make a mess. That's like eating your cereal and having the bowl on the table and not bending over and pulling the spoon to your face. You're just mm. losing shit. You're not yeah. winning anything there. Yeah. You're just going to spill milk and cereal. So obviously you eat your cereal, either the bowl to your face or mm. your face to the bowl. I just don't think they think about other people when they're doing that. No, for sure. People like are they're s- not considering that, oh, like when I'm vacuuming around the gym, I'm like back in my head, I'm like, I'm hoping they see that I like we clean this gym yeah. so that they would probably maybe keep it in the back of their minds when they're training to be to pick up their little wrappers yeah. or like. Their, you know, get rid of your cans. Um, yeah, that's a huge one. Chalk I think. in the bucket, whatever. Another one, and this is pretty powerlifting and bodybuilding niche. Like, it's cool and normal, I think, now to carry your gym bag station to station with you. But don't, like, move in. So, like, don't pull everything out and take over 10 feet mm-hmm. when we're already in a crowded gym. Yeah. Like, like if you need to dig in to get mm-hmm. your lacrosse ball because your fucking adductors hurt, you pussy. Pull... <laughs> Put, put everything back you're in. You're Adussie. Yeah, you're Adussie. I said Adussie when that I was, was listening with JP. Yeah. Yeah, uh, put everything back in. So go dig your shit out and then put it back in and then move your bag as Consolidate. close. Consolidate. Yeah, push Don't your bag. S- man is, spread. Push your bag closest to the wall, closest to your bench, or closest to the location you're using. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your bag doesn't need to be way over there. You know, like, and let's, let's uh, again, you, yeah, you're self-absorbed. Yeah. There's a lot of self-absorbed people in the world. Let's not do that. Yeah, especially as the gym is getting more crowded. Yeah, it's and, and I'm, I'm guilty difficult. of it sometimes. But like, yeah. but yeah, consolidate as much as much as you can. I make a, a trash pile of my belt and my sleeves, and they're kind of together. Yeah, or like you have your bag and stuff because you're next to it. you. You train on a rack or maybe a machine, and then you leave it there, so no one knows if someone's about to use that, so they avoid it. Yeah, it's a shit mo- shit play. But it's like you you're done using it. You just You've been gone for 30 yeah. minutes. Yeah, if you're doing cardio now, bring your bullshit to your cardio yeah, or so put it against a no wall. No one thinks you're occupying. Yeah, like, against a wall is just always a safe play. Yeah. You know, because then you're not, yeah, you're not claiming space. You're not claiming an equipment. Yeah. And I don't think people are always doing it maliciously. Same with the dirty chalk shit. But mm-hmm. uh, it comes off very self-absorbed. Yeah. Uh, using baby powder inside the gym. Yeah, yeah. we yelled at Douche someone bag. for doing that the other day. Or, or or when people say outside, don't do it right outside of a door. Literally don't. outside of a door so that everyone yeah. who walks in will track it. The in. point of doing baby chalk or baby powder, excuse me, outside is that it's slippery on the ground. It's going to get underneath people's feet and then on a barbell or slip. So if we're going to do it outside, let's go to a corner or around an area where no one walks. No foot traffic. Yeah, that's the point. That's 100% the point of that. Because now your feet are slippery and it's chalk and yeah. baby powder around the gym. Chalk in general, I think, is misunderstood. So chalk in general is not sticky, right? So we think about, oh, chalk helps your grip. Well, kind of. But chalk helps 
any like water absorption. Moisture. So yeah, if you're sweaty, it's hot out, you have clammy hands, I have very clammy hands, a little bit of chalk on your hands can help that. If you have too much chalk on your hands or too much chalk on the barbell, barbells are, are designed very well, although it's kind of, uh, you know, old or ancient looking technology, they have little mountain grooves in there to dig into our skin. So if there's too much chalk on our skin or too much chalk on the barbell, now those grooves are going to get filled with chalk and the barbell won't be able to dig into our skin and be able to lift. We call that grooves. We call that knurling. Yeah. yeah so if the knurling is full, and same goes with your T-shirt. Slamming a bunch of chalk on your, on your back, unless your back is sopping wet, which can happen in the summer or certain gyms, a little bit may help. But chances are the barbell is not going to slip on liquid on your shirt. It only slips on your hands. So, like, chalking the living fuck out of a bench does nothing. Um, li- chalking the living fuck out of your shoulders does very minimal unless certain instances. And then even over-chalking your hands does literally nothing but make shit dirty and probably make you feel primal and cool. Yeah. How's that? That's a really good... That was a very detailed explanation. Thanks, because it is true. And, yeah. If you're if you're soaping wet, and it does yeah. happen, right? It gets hot summer. A little chalk on your back may help, but you can just literally pat it or take some of those remnants and have a homie, uh, you know, pat it on your on your bar path on mm-hmm. the, or the bar mm-hmm. placement. But but just chalk in the living fuck. Never chalk a barbell. That's a waste oh, of time, God. space, I energy. I can't tell you how many times I saw that, yeah. especially in the in the geared era. The yeah. Chalk the chalk the back of your squat suit. Chalk the barbell. No. Chalk is like, oh my god, how's it going to yeah. hold on? A it little is. bit of chalk on your back when you're real sweaty. A little bit of chalk on your hands, but but it doesn't have to be that often. Especially you motherfuckers that probably don't even work hard enough to sweat. Uh, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I do. I got clammy ass hands. I don't. You got dry my, ass hands. Yeah, my hands sounds much. I I feel like the the liquid chalk stuff, if applied like very um, sparingly on your hands, is even better. Yeah, I love liquid hands. chalk because with block chalk, I actually prefer liquid chalk over block. Um, you do this enough, and you're like you clap enough, or you do like touch enough things before you're set, and it's all off. Yeah, um, yeah, so that like, is true. Liquid chalk kind of like it's more controllable, and yeah. then it doesn't really like flake off the way that other yeah. chalk does. Yeah, so it's it cleaner to and it's, it's more sticky. I don't know how much actual chalk is in it, but I know that there's just like antiperspirant. Yeah, there's like alcohol too. That yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Take shit away. Yeah, to get it to dry. Yeah. Um, what I think the keyboard you were looking for earlier was T9. Yeah, T9. I'm a T9 demon. What's T stand for? I don't know. Text. Oh, text nine, the nine numbers. Nine yeah. numbers, yeah. Yeah, yeah, text nine. Yeah, I was a T9 demon. Damn. A little pr- predictive text on that thing and I'm... Sp- Bitten. In other words, you're old. That's how that. That's how like text slang started, though. Yeah. That and Twitter, because right, right, back right. in the day we had no shorthand. Just yeah, yeah, we had no characters, so you had to do you instead do of you. Everything. People do it for everything now. Yeah, like, yeah acronyms. Yeah. For yeah, the letter U instead of you. The LOL. I mean, that invented L O fucking L. You can. Wait, what? We oh. me 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 okay. and my gen invented L O fucking L, dude. What have you? What is your gen given to the world? <laughs> um, what have you guys brought to the world besides the shitty TikTok dances? You can um, Riz. sumo deadlift and tic- <laughs> yeah, Riz, Riz, you can, Giat. You can do um, and bum bum. Oh, what is that? nothing. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. I have to see if I can find this. Lady parts. Okay, it's <laughs> a know. nice way to say lady parts in like Merit. Caribbean. Um. Yeah, you can like text whole sentences and just acronyms yeah, or like short sure. like W I D. TMR, LMK. What are you doing tomorrow? What'd you say? Let L- me know. Yeah. yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. You like that? Yeah, I do. We invented <laughs> that. I love that. There, some get a little crazy. There's even some new ones I didn't even know. Once W-D-Y-M. an old one I didn't know. A-Y-C-E? Oh, all you can eat? Yeah, I didn't know that for ace? a long time. Yeah, when people say ace, I didn't know that was like I didn't A-C-E-Y. either. I like didn't either. A-Y-C. There's a new just... ace place I'm trying to go to. Let's go. Yeah. What is it? Korean barbecue. Let's go. Yeah. It's easy. We don't. We eat like right now. one protein you know? bar, one energy drink for the day, and then freaking Ace. early dinner. Yeah. That's how Ace, I eat kind of. All protein. Yeah. How good was my uh, quesarito deal I sent you? Oh, nacho cheese, low-cal tortilla, and beef. ground beef. And I fucking, I made one yesterday that looked, it looked like it, right? The one? Yeah. It looked pretty good. It does look good. Then you, as long as you get cheese where you rip in the tortilla, and then you 
cook that part first, it'll like weld the tortilla. Yeah. Yeah. That's good deal. It was good. Dude. And and if you want to get after you what's what's in those things? Lettuce, sour cream. You could all do those healthy tomatoes mm-hmm. and then they do a, a hard shell in hard, there. Hard yeah, cool. I didn't do all that. Yeah. But the hard shell does add a nice texture. Corn. The crunch wrap. Yeah, I made a crunch wrap. I made a healthy crunch wrap. Healthy crunch wrap. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Did you make it for TikTok or something? Because no, I should have. That's I'm why like, you wasted the a content opportunity. But they they're so good. Because I sent you one, right? They're so good. The food content creators are gangster. Like they're good chefs. Yeah. And their like presentation and their editing's good. I ain't got time for all that. No, it's a lot. It's a lot. You cannot compete. No, for sure not. <laughs> yeah. Unless Seabass is gonna watch me cook and like do a hundred takes. We can do it. We I love I Well, love that's how Mike and I started working together, you know. Cooking? Yeah. A no. Cooking show. <laughs> yeah, that too. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we had an old cooking show. Those took forever Why? too. Why? I mean, I you actually don't seem though. like a good cook. You can cook. Um, I can cook. He he can cook. Yeah, I can cook. Yeah. I'm Jim, not like can, a chef. Jim, you can cook. I can cook. Yeah. Jim, do can you cook. cook? Um, I used to cook all the time, uh-huh. and then um, I used to make dinner all the time, yeah. and then uh, when I, my wife was working during the day, and uh, then she started having a lot of gastric reflux, and so uh, didn't want to eat past you know a certain mm. time of day. And so there was no point in me making yeah, full a, a full dinner. So I we changed how we eat. And now she's retired and she cooks all the time. And I don't that oh, much. Okay. And yeah, I love to cook. Yeah, we cook. Me uh, and two training partners, Robot and Cove. Robot and Cove? Yep. I don't know what that is. Those are two, two yeah, training they're, partners. They're, on my, on they're my, humans. Yeah, on my channel. Yeah. Back on um, my channel. From 2013. 2013? 2013, yeah. yes. Uh, Ten years ago. Oh my god! Yeah. I was like a freshman in high school or something. Yeah, I'm sorry. Or you can go watch him. Bro eats. Yeah, That's crazy. It's a good name too. Could've, yeah, it could have ran. Yeah, it could. It could have worked. Uh, it just the timing and yeah. yeah. I mean, it was the problem is for me it was a lot of work. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it was really a lot of work to edit. Yeah, we shot it. Video. Shot it. We kind of shot it like new age shit. Yeah. Yeah. Cuts. Good overview. Damn. Bird eye view. All yeah, that. That's looked, something that I would like to do. Yeah. We can, yeah, sure. yeah. We talked about doing a food channel. I know. Well, it's just there's it's, it's crazy. We can we can lock it in. We gotta now that I travel less, because yeah, we talked about doing an eating one and a cooking one. We could do both. Yeah. yeah. Uh, episode of cooking, episode of eating. Uh, yeah. t- taking a pause from from cooking and eating and gym <laughs> etiquette. Um, you you were talking. To, you you mentioned Riz earlier, and not yep. everybody has known what that meant, and I I do now. Um, but a Stanford student named I was just saw this. Yeah. B- Brian H P Chang. Created Riz GPT. Yeah, I heard about that. A monocle you wear that displays Chat GPT yeah. output to tell you what to say in case you get tongue tied on a date. Yeah, he calls it C A A S or Charisma as a. Service. You know who I literally think invented Riz? Who? Kai. Oh. Yeah, I think he literally invented that. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's crazy. That's really. Cool. I was. I saw a clip of him. I think he was like. Um, I don't think it's in the real dictionary yet, but it's in like you know the slang dictionary or whatever it's called, urban, urban, dictionary. urban dictionary. How does urban dictionary get through in this PC world? That doesn't seem right. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't have an answer. for Everything's it. getting canceled, and urban dictionary is just cool. Urban, yeah. urban. Yeah. I don't Next, know. we have orientaldictionary.com. Like that can't fly. Yeah. Right. I think you just—it's like the name of the game. If you're on there, you kind of know. Like, yeah, where I guess. But, but, uh, on the same page. There was but, like an English professor at some college going over his class with Urban Dictionary shit, and they brought up like a bunch of stuff this streamer either made up or uh, popularized. Uh huh. Gat was on there, even though I think that's uh Rage Gaming. I think that's his homie. Gat. Gat. That's like when you Is see. Is it just a sound? Yeah, like but on it's a monopia. Yeah, yeah. Instead of like, God damn, like when yeah, you yeah. see like a hot chick, oh. instead yeah. of saying God damn, they'll be like, yeah, yeah, or yeah, like yeah, she's yeah. got the yachts. <laughs> what the? It's a noun, dude. Yeah, it's all of it. Yeah. I love it, dude. I do love that shit. I love yeah. like because it's like so niche. Now it's so big because those streamers are giant. Yeah, but like there's a lot of stuff that came from Twitch oh, or YouTube. N- it's a that, different language. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I love cultures like that. Like, how does culture start? And it literally started, this kid said Riz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of culture, like, in all the stupid re, like, all yeah, this yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, re, yeah, yeah, yeah. None of this would make sense to someone who isn't part of that community. Yeah, and I love that. Yeah. I love that. Even Get Sturdy, even though it's, like, more of a regional hip-hop New York thing, but they popularize it on the internet. Yeah, it becomes a little exclusive to if you're part of that, I, like, I like culture. That. Yeah, I like that. That's actually kind of a critical point of creating like communities of any size language is language, language. Yeah. Yeah. 
language. Yeah, we have a little bit around here, but we don't have that much. Even and, Hella, I love that. Now yeah. it's spread, but that's Hella a NorCal Hella. thing. Yeah, our uh, our content doesn't is not really packed with that stuff. Where other no. people's, it definitely is. Like it, all kinds of inside jokes and and language stuff or whatever. Which I think we're just too, you know, not cool. I, I think it's stardom. I'm really not cool. Well, all, all y'all are saying you're currently. Yeah, we say you're. That's kind of yeah, saying I, online I, I thing, too. I kind of say it ironically, yeah. and then I stopped saying it ironically. Year. I'm like, I, or nur. Yeah, I nur. Can't, I can't say That's kind of like Australian, too. Uh, like nur. I don't know. I'm just being lazy. It reminds me of Australians. Nur. Yeah. Nur, we're going to the murky. Or I was saying, like, brother, <laughs> like, unironically. Yeah. Somebody yeah. suggested this this Riz GPT should be should have been called Cyrano because that's like the classic. What is it? Cyrano de Bergerac. Oh, no, I okay. Bless you. Cl- classic story of a guy who was um, pretty good looking but <gasps> had no game at all, <sighs> and he was oh. fed lines uh, from a guy who had a giant nose, but was really good with oh, words. Oh wait. <laughs> And yeah. yes. and this is my origin story. Yeah. I feel like I know. There's a really, really good movie. It's a movie, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With with uh, Steve Martin. Okay, I think called I've seen... Roxanne because the girl is Roxanne. It's mm-hmm. Daryl Hannah. Not because of the police. Not because of the Roxanne. No, it's a uh, banger. The best scene in any movie that features the song Roxanne is uh, Eddie Murphy in the jail cell in 48 hours I'm where he's I do like Eddie Murphy though. he's he's wearing headphones okay in in his jail cell and he's singing Roxanne off like out of tune mm-hmm. top of his fucking Eddie lungs good. Top I think Jamie Fox is out of the hospital <gasps> good news. yeah he's in a kind of rehab I'm sure thing, yeah. what was did. the thing that he was in for I think it was a stroke, stroke. yeah Holy. yeah and then a lot of people came out and said he's he's known for having high blood pressure for a long time and who knows what but I'm glad he's all right yeah. yeah, maybe new movies. We'll wrap it up. I think Jim's got a haircut. I... Oh, shit. oh yes, shit. I gotta go. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, new episodes <laughs> Wednesday, Friday. Avi dot Lou on Instagram. Yes. Be sure to follow her. Um, I'm selling Michael. You want to find me three sp dot co. Big 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 sale coming in June. So just pay attention to that and a couple drops over the summer. We're locked and loaded. Um, and that's it. I am at the Jimmy D on all the social media. This show is 50% facts. Where percent is a word and 50 is just numbers. 50% facts is a Spreaker Prime podcast in association with iHeartMedia on the Obscure Celebrity Network. And I got to get the hell out of here. Three.